Today's video is again about a warning in Android Studio, which appears when we use an image view. The warning is missing content description attribute on image. My previous video was about how to add an image view. At that time, I got this warning and I already mentioned this will be our next video. If you already have this warning, I will show you how to remove this. I'm clicking on that warning to know more about that. It says image without content description. To remove that, select your image view and find the attribute called content description and give some description for that image. I'm giving as cartoon image. You can give according to your image behavior like profile picture, product image, etc. In XML code, you can see a code line Android colon content description equals cartoon image. But the warning sign is not yet gone. I'm hovering my mouse to that warning and the warning is changed to hard coded string should use its string resource. This warning also appears when we use text view. I have already made a detailed video about that. Please check that. I'm giving links in the iCard above and in the description also. So this warning means we must use the text cartoon image in the edge string resource. For that, click on the yellow bulb in the left side of that line. Click on extract string resource. If you want to change the resource name, you can change that. Then click on OK. Now you can see the edge string path to that text is given in the content description code line and the warning disappeared. In string under values in the res folder, you can see that text is added with a resource name. As I said earlier, I already posted a video about the same warning. At that time, some people asked me why we have to remove these warnings. These warnings are not harmful. But if you remove that, it is beneficial for your app's performance. It is a best practice while coding. That's all for now. Hope you all liked this video. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to motivate my works and efforts by hitting on the like button, subscribe button and all. Comment your thoughts and feedbacks. I will be glad to respond to your comments. We'll come up with the next video. Thanks for watching.